What does financial freedom mean to you? Being able to pay your children's school fees? Starting your own business? Owning your own home? Or driving your dream car? Whatever it means to you, we can help you achieve it and much more. Our team of qualified financial advisors at United Capital are available round the clock to help you achieve your financial goals. Call us today on 07000 Invest or visit investnow.ng. United Capital is a financial services group offering investment banking, asset management, trusteeship services, and securities trading. United Capital PLC, the intelligent choice. Smooth 98.1 presents Money Minute with United Capital PLC. Make your money, your finance, and wealth the expert's business. We're not stopping our investments anywhere else in Nigeria. We're moving full force forward. Money Minute with United Capital PLC. The intelligent choice. Smooth 98.1. Welcome, welcome. I'm sure you heard that. Welcome. We have some wonderful guests in the studio this evening. Um, compliments of uh, United Capital. All right. So we have Mr. Kaede in the building. Not the Kaede, Not but <laughs> another Mr. Kaede. He's the fund manager at United Capital PLC. Welcome, Mr. Kaede. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And we have Ugo Naya. Uh, yes, welcome, welcome. She's the lead client advisor for United Capital PLC. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys are in here to talk a little bit of investment with us this evening. Okay. Um, so I guess first things first, how did you get started? Okay, um, I think what is important um, and the message we're trying to pass across to the public is that um, it's always wise to set aside some money for the rainy day uh-huh. um, a lot of people think it's cool to save mm-hmm. um, okay set out set aside 70 percent of your income 20 percent of your income and just put it in a bank account right and um, I was I mean on the social media I stumbled on a, on a video yesterday um, by Dan Locke Dan Locke is one of my favorite um, authors and entrepreneurs okay and he said that um, a lot of people think Paying yourself first is getting good things for yourself. So you take money from your business, you pay yourself a salary, you take money from your from your salary, you you buy good things for yourself. If you buy a house, right, you're not paying yourself, you're paying the landlord, you're paying the estate developers, you're paying the estate agents. If you buy um, a car, you're paying the automobile company. If you go on vacation, you're paying the airlines. Travel agency. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. exactly. So, but if you set aside a portion of your income and invest it, that is when you're paying yourself. So, every wise individual should have um, a means by which you set aside an income, a portion of your income that goes directly not only to savings but to investment that makes sense yeah that makes a lot of sense so um how how much percent or how many percent would you recommend be invested to start with well, it depends on the individual and the goals that you're setting for yourself for some people it's just to preserve capital right is to have something to pass on to the next generation for some people or may, maybe a young person that's just passed out of school and is trying to get an apartment or get married and then of course you know how much you're going to need in the future so what we do for most people is to sit down with you understand your goals and then tell you okay you need to do 10 percent. of course we you give us information about your pay and all of that and we tell you if you set as I 10,000 Naira monthly, this is how much it's going to grow to to in the next five years or six years. Then you now decide whether that meets your goals or not. So it varies. And for for most people, 20 to 30%, um, it's a good way to start. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about um, types of investment now, uh, because there's one thing setting aside, you know, the amount you want to invest, and also there's also something about knowing the right type of investment. So, how do you know the right types of investment to invest in? 
Okay, yes. Um, every investor is different. We are different as individuals in our risk appetite, right? Um, so you need to first of all understand um, your risk um, tolerance. Some people are risk takers. Uh-huh. Um, some people are very conservative. Um, they don't want a dime out of their capital, right? So you've got to ask yourself, do I want to take risk or do I just want to be conservative, right? So there are different investments in the market. And one of those investments that we're here to talk about is our money market fund, which gives you a lot of, um, call it rest of mind, that your money is saved, the return is guaranteed, um, and then you can plan with it. Um, so if you're a young person who doesn't have a high income um, level, you want to be safe in your investment. So uh, you don't go into stocks that are volatile. <laughs> Um, or ideally, a young person should be able to take risk. Mm. Um, but of course, everything still you boils to down to your income. Yeah. yeah you have to Let me just interrupt you both. Uh, really quickly right there. Uh, you guys listening, if you want to join in the conversation or you have any questions for Mr. Kaede or uh, Ugo Naya, uh, send us a message 0809 981 We are also streaming live on Instagram. You can head over to our Instagram page at smooth981fm. We are with the professionals at United Capital and they are speaking to us about their money market fund. All right, so yes, let's get yes. back into it. Okay, so I'll allow Ugo to talk uh, a bit more on the money market fund and um, the advantages um, that you can derive from <laughs> investing in the fund. All right. Okay, I'm um, good to have you here with us again. So uh, on the money market fund, basically we, the objective is to achieve attractive short, medium and long term growth of the capital through investing in our money market instrument. So pretty much um, it's looking into some form of safety like initially mentioned to you and the principle is guaranteed which is um, what the clients always ask when, as the point of investment you know mm. i'm coming up with fifty thousand naira i point of investment i hope that nothing will affect the fifty thousand naira i'm already putting up up front mm. and we give you that kind of assurance that you know what this is a hundred percent safe okay. because we invest in bankers acceptance commercial papers and treasury bills alike so um okay. to a very large extent uh, it's government backed and, okay. and that's form of safety for the cu- customers as well and there's minimum investment of ten thousand naira Okay, and minimum subs- investment of 10,000 10, naira. Then subsequent tranches of 5,000. That doesn't stop a client from investing a 1 million or something higher than that Amen. as well. You know, so <laughs> so that, um, that's some of the assurance for the customers in the first place. And they can participate, you know, by um, downloading our app, investnow.ng. Okay. Yes. And um, they can upload their forms of KYC, which is the um, passport photograph, utility bill, and okay. means of identification, and then kickstart the transaction after then. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, just really quickly, what are some of the pitfalls that we should be avoiding when we're thinking of investing our money? Yeah. Okay. We, okay. <laughs> okay. Let me take that. So I think it's important to be careful. Um, most people look out for um, juicy returns, like juicy yeah, returns. Yeah, like uh, okay, so be like careful of those percent, okay. unrealistic expectations. Monthly. <laughs> Don't be greedy. So mm-hmm. uh, when you see those unrealistic expectations. promises, mm-hmm. um, expectations by whoever is offering you the investment, then you should be very careful. Um, I'm sure you've seen um, examples of of um, some of the bad investments that a lot of people have mm-hmm. gotten themselves um, into in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one. Two is not doing proper research, um, looking out for information that would help you. So you're not jumping in because your friend is investing mm. and you say oh, yeah and then the, if you don't like i said before if your risk um tolerance um really doesn't fit the investment that you go in and uh, you'll probably get yourself um, worked up easily so it's important to seek the right information and also to be very moderate in your expectations speaking of those moderate expectations sorry to jump in front of you kaede um so when you're going about setting your investment goals, what should you keep in mind? Or how do you even go about those? Like, what are some sensible ways about going about setting investment goals? Well, the first thing is to um, understand um, your income um, capacity. Right. So if you earn um, 50000 you don't go set goals um, that require a million 
um, no. to, to meet in the first instance. Um, that's one. Two, talk to a financial advisor. Okay. And that's very important because you are seeing, um, they see the numbers really, really, but you, most people are driven by sentiment. So mm. I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. And then their financial advisor will say, oh, calm down. Um, this is the right type of investment for you. This is the return that you should expect reasonably um, so you don't go just jump into any kind of proposition that anybody gives you. Huh. So it's important to talk to the right person and also it's also important to understand what's going on in the economy as well uh. Uh, because that drives the returns. Um, so if the economy is in recession, um, you understand the kind of investment um, that you should go Looking into to. in times of um, recovery like we are um, when we are approaching elections and all of that. So there are investments that um, fit into um, every situation as far as the economy is concerned and your particular um, circumstances and investor. All right. All right. And, and again, um, uh, not also forgetting that we pay quarterly dividend, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. we just paid in the last quarter of 15 cobra per unit of, for all investors. Yeah. yeah and um, in presently in the money market fund. Okay. Speaking yeah. about money market fund, by the way. Okay. Um, what are the benefits of investing in a money market fund? Uh, you, you look at the safety. Okay. Yeah, pretty much because it's hundred percent money market instrument because the customer is investing in, so there's safety of um, the investment. Mm-hmm. Like I initially said, the safety in the, in the fact that uh, the fund that you put up will not diminish in any way whatsoever. So it's like it's insured, it, or it's um, it's there's a. There's a guarantee. Yes, there's a guarantee, there's a guarantee on, on, the the, on the principal investment. So yes. on the principal means that, okay, I put in 10,000 naira, so that 10,000 naira will not be touched. Not be yeah, touched. yeah, yeah sure that that you get anything less than that. Returns could vary depending on mm-hmm. market condition. Mm-hmm. We are currently doing around 12%, it's 12% um, for our money market fund. That is the range that we've we've recorded um, in recent time, and that's what we expect to go in the short to medium term. Um, okay. One other key benefit is that it's very convenient to invest in. Um, you could download our app, um, investnow.ng. Okay. Just if you just go on um, um, your phone and download the app, and you can fund your account and. Cr- Open literally open an account on your phone as you're speaking here now, mobile in the convenience of your room, office. You can invest and then you get value immediately. Speaking of your phone, we have someone who's been trying to call in. Um, please call back our 01 849 number in case you have any questions, or you can send us a message 0809 999 Do not call our WhatsApp number, we're not going to be able to pick that up. 01 oh, there we go, double four eight nine nine eight one. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Oh, it seems that we are having trouble with the lines. Please call back if you get a chance. 0144-89981. Um, we don't have that much time, so maybe you can send a message if it's uh, quite urgent for Mr. Kaede and Miss Ugo. All right, let me let you guys continue. Um, <laughs> On the online platform, like yes. we say initially, yeah. We can set the recurrent debit, such that on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, depending on your investment appetite, you could give us that mandate that on a monthly basis we debit to a particular amount. And okay. um, yeah. Oh, oh there and, goes that phone call. Sorry to interrupt okay. you. Let me um let's see who wants to speak to you all. Hello, good Hello. evening. Hello. Good evening. Thanks for calling. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Sam. I'm calling from the question for the investment and analyst. Yes. Um I wanna know on I mean, not not necessarily fast story, but I mean, but what generally applies? What percentage of your income are you expected to keep the saving? Given that, I mean, given that you have a family, I mean, you have a family, I mean, a family of five. So, what percentage? Even if you earn two million, what percentage of your income? I mean, financially speaking, are you expected to put it into saving? That's one. Then number two. When you say your threshold of, I mean, of expected savings, I really need clarification on that because the gentleman was talking about the fact that it depends on what, I mean, what your expected save or what, um, what your what the target is. If you don't have any target, just want to say, what's the margin of your income or what's the percentage of your income you expected actually to save financially speaking? 
That's my question. All right. Thank you for calling this evening. Let's get to that really quickly. Okay. Um, I'll just um, say this. Um, it depends on the individual, That's right? Okay. Um, and um, the goals um, differ. Um, individual goals differ. Mm-hmm. So if we, if you sit with us and we understand your goal, we can advise you okay. appropriately. So you're but gonna if I want to be theoretical, I would say um, some people do 30%, 40% of their, en- of their, of their, of their, of their income. I'm um, just putting that aside. Um, but again, that's not casting stone. Um, it depends on the that You need to talk to the uh, advisor and it will guide you. In on what to invest yeah. in and how and, to do And it. again, some of the individuals have a project already set for a period of time. You know, on a quarterly basis, I'm paying my children's school fees. So I need this money after a three-month period. Then they can do the drastic um, contribution. You know, okay, okay, I want to do 50%. I want to do 60% for the next three months. And when I'm done with that three-month project, I'll step down to 20%. So it has to do with a lot of profiling your, your customers, you know, to be so, able to all right. Most important that. thing is to yeah. talk to a financial advisor yeah. first. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, proper planning is what follows Absolutely. after that. Absolutely. Okay, so right. uh, so far basically we've talked about um we talked about uh uh, we talked about a lot, but we're fun. fast moving out of time. So we have to ask you guys for your concluding re- uh, remarks. How can one participate in um, okay um, in this money market? Like fund? you said, you you can download our app uh, on the Google um, Play Store, mm-hmm. and then you can also um, sign up online and uh, via our platform mm-hmm. investnow.ng. Uh, so investnow.ng. So when you log in, the basic KYC requirements are your passport uh, photographs, your means of ID, valid means of ID, and utility bill. So you can scan all of that and just upload on the website. You can fund your account on the website. You can set up recurring debit on your account on the website so you don't have to worry. For most people, it takes a lot of discipline to withdraw from the account and pay uh, into their investment account. We, we, we relieve you of all that worry, and we just debit you on a monthly basis. And before you know it, two, three months, you are used to it, and you just keep going. And you can view your account as well. As you're doing it, you view it to be seeing the daily interests accumulating on your account. It's absolutely open. Mm-hmm. All, right. all right, that's awesome. Okay, well, that's it, Lagos. Uh, tell you what we're going to do. Uh, still more great stuff follows after this, so don't forget, you also can reach out to these guys, basically, that's United Capital, um, as we, or as they leave the studio, okay? So if you have, uh, like, a website you want them to reach out to? Okay, um, our website is www.unitedcapitalplc.com. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for coming into the studio. And uh, you guys have a great evening. You guys out there, uh, keep your questions coming in. Maybe they'll stick around in the studio for a couple more minutes to answer these. Send them uh, via WhatsApp. And have a great evening. We'll be right back. Money Minute with United Capital PLC. We have a $250 million investment. Make your money, your finance, and wealth the expert's business. We're not stopping our investments anywhere else in Nigeria. We're moving full force forward. Money Minute with United Capital PLC. The intelligent choice. Music to make you groove. Money Minutes with United Capital PLC is a finance program that provides valuable information about the stock market, investing, and financial literacy, allowing listeners to learn more about managing their finances, investing money, and the many untapped investment opportunities in Nigeria that you guys can really take advantage of. So for all you salary earners, this one is for you. Get your money to work for you by diligently investing and listening to trusted financial advisors on Money Minutes with United Capital PLC on Smooth 98.1 every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. as they guide you on your path to financial freedom. Whatever your financial goals are, this show is definitely for you. You can call in and ask questions about financial instruments like stocks, mutual funds, private investment trusts, and the experts will be here to give you the answers that you are looking for. 
you won't believe how much your money can grow, even if it still looks small to you right now. The reason most people don't invest their money is because they believe it takes too long to get returns from it. Is this true or is it a myth? Tune in to Money Minute with United Capital PLC on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. on Smooth 98.1 to find out more. To find out more. To find out more.